how do you start talking to a random person? Since I was young, I've always had a tough time talking to strangers by myself. Being an introvert my whole life, I've tried to avoid social interactions when they aren't absolutely necessary because most of them would leave me feeling drained anyway. But after watching this TED talk, which explained how important having quality relationships are for our mental and physical health and experiencing firsthand how awful loneliness can be, I knew I had to conquer this fear. So I decided to ask myself this question. How many people could I try and become friends with in 24 hours to diminish my remaining social anxiety and highlight how crucial this skill is to develop to everyone that's watching this? Along with that, I'd also ask all the strangers I talked with to give you all tips on how to become better at talking and approaching random people because I can only give so many insights on my own. So this is what happened when I tried to make as many new friends as possible in 24 hours. The first place that I decided to bring my camera to was the gym. But before getting there, I still had some nerves I needed to shake off. I woke up this morning very unmotivated, but the reason I don't want to do this so much, I believe is the biggest reason why I should be doing it. I can't wait until I feel motivated to take action. I have to take action to feel motivated. I almost forgot, it's also peak hours in there. Upon arriving at the gym, I thought a good way to start up some sort of conversation was to have someone spot me on the bench press. So that's what I did. And that eventually led me to asking the same dude if he wanted to answer the questions and he agreed. How do you how do you become more approachable? And how do you approach? Oh people? man. Yeah, I think I mean I think the, the you know time and place is an important thing to be able to recognize. For sure. Um, obviously if somebody's pretty engrossed and seems like they're uh, they're in their own zone, maybe don't hit them up then. But uh yeah. But yeah, I think I think, I think the more genuine and, and you know upfront that you can be when you when you go into it, I think uh, you know the better responses you're gonna get. And then it's just kind of persistence. You gotta be okay with with getting shut down. For sure, for sure. I haven't got shut down yet today, but I'm sure I will. So <laughs> thanks, Chris. Yeah, of course. After this first interaction, I started to feel a little bit more confident about having a camera at the gym, and I found someone else who looked friendly to talk to. All right, we got Brian here. I just called him a social butterfly because honestly, this dude is always talking to people in the gym super friendly guy so well, what's your what's your usual approach method like what do you ask them if we're in the gym the thing is is you know usually you try and give somebody a compliment on mm. something they're working on you know they're trying they're obviously here they want to make progress and you know it's a very disarming tactic in a way to compliment somebody and, and oh, usually they're quite receptive to that you know and and from there you just you see them around and they're, they're usually, they remember you as the guy who, hey, you know, gave me some confidence. Yeah. yeah. Nobody's going to turn that down. True. You know, okay. so. And it's like a natural feeling thing, too. You got to just kind of feel out the For situation sure. and, you For know, sure. get the vibes. Good stuff. Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Appreciate you. Anytime, brother. Anytime. Unfortunately, I started this challenge pretty late in the day. And after I had finished my post-workout meal, it was almost time for me to go to sleep. But I did have a good idea for a place to go at night. All right, just about finished eating. I've done some thinking. Off camera, I decided to look on my Maps app at a place that I think there would be people that would be willing to talk to me. And I remembered this bar near my apartment where I know there's people sitting outside almost all the time, even in cold weather, like it is outside right now. So I'm about to head there now. Hopefully all goes well. Let's see what happens. Oh boy. As I approached the bar, even though I had planned something to say already, I definitely felt a lot more nervous about going up to someone random than when I was at the gym, which is a familiar environment for me. You guys watched the Bills game yesterday? Yeah, I lost. Sure. I, I thought I was gonna like actually lose my mind. Because I thought uh, we were actually gonna lose. I don't know how willing you guys are to but if you could say a few things in this video, I was gonna ask people a few questions. Is that a possibility? It's okay, it's okay if you don't want to. I, I answer questions. Cool. Mike, do you think it's harder to approach people or connect with people now? Because when the opportunity presents itself, you know, people are on their phone or some shit like that. I mean, yeah, if you don't know how to like, you know, find the light in other people. Like, okay. like I'm a person that can find the light in people. And mm -hmm. so like you walked up and I'm like, yo, what's good? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, and there are places I think there that are there are concentrations of people who give a f about other people. You can always see a person that is exuding light and energy that says like, hey, I want to chat or like 
I want to take interest in you. I, like I, I was saw you with a camera and I'm like, hey, what you doing? Right. Like right. I took interest in, that's it. Just take interest in other people. The quote that changed my life is from Fight Club. Okay. And it's, I love this one. <laughs> oh yes, it's Marla Singer talking about being in a support group. She said, when people think you're dying, they really listen to what you have to say instead of just waiting for their turn to speak. Like I live my life thinking that this might be the last time I meet you. This might be the last time I meet any of the people that hang out here. And if it is, I want to pay attention to what the heck they have to say. Damn, that's good. That's good as shit. I'm going to use that. I love that. Okay, it is now day two of this 24-hour challenge. I'm all showered up and I'm looking presentable because that is extremely important. I have a couple ideas for places to go today around my neighborhood. I also have to run errands too, so I know where to go. Am I going to be able to do this? Uh, Let's get out there. Let's make some more friends. The first place that I decided to go today was a record store that I had already been to. I'd never seen the worker there in the times that I went before, but I saw that they made some changes to the shop, so I decided to comment on that to initiate something. You guys look like you leveled up in here a little bit. I don't remember this. Shortly after that, another friendly looking guy walked in and I thought this would be a good opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. I actually got a question for both of you guys. What do you think is the best way to approach somebody and spark a conversation with a random person? Uh, usually I think that it's best to kind of, you know, be personable with, with somebody, you know, whether it's, you know, noticing like a shirt they're wearing mm -hmm. or like, you know, you're wearing a Bill's coat or like something like that you could just, you know, from like the first glance you could tell about them and, you know, start there. And then you kind of go from there and talk about kind of uh, whatever it is that you guys have common ground on. The visual aspect, you know, the way somebody's dressed, you know, if they're wearing a specific, like a, we're in a record store, a band tee or something. Mm -hmm. um, just, yeah, anything that could, you know, spark up conversation and, uh, or even the environment, like it also record store, again, mm -hmm. uh, you're shopping for music. Uh, that kind of thing. Okay, at this point in the challenge, I had only talked to dudes, and I'm sure that a lot of you want to hear an opinion from someone other than a guy. So I decided to head over to this store that sold jewelry and scented candles, but I still needed something to initiate a conversation. You guys look like you have a million different scented candles down there. We have a lot. Do you what do you one? What do you suggest? Um, what do you like? Not too heavy on the scent. Are you in the fall mood? I have a lot of candles. Well, that's pretty far. Mm -hmm. So I'm shooting a YouTube video right now where I'm trying to meet as many people as possible. All right, just sparked up a conversation with Julia, Steph, and Maddie. And I want to ask them, what do you think is like the best way to approach somebody without coming off weird or like how, how do you start talking to a random person a compliment oh yeah compliment? That's yeah that's what a compliment 100 yeah. i yeah. like your shoes i told her i like your shoes today yeah start a combo comment <laughs> their hair find yeah. a common mm -hmm. interest i feel yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. like you're wearing a bills jacket mm -hmm. you're like oh you like the bills oh, right yeah. right yeah. Bills. yeah right how do you keep the conversation going from there you don't <laughs> you don't, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you don't. You don't. yeah I feel like you just gotta bounce off um, what you're saying to people. If you just like keep it going mm -hmm. and like relate to your personal life as mm -hmm. in comparison to theirs. You gotta get them to start talking about themselves. People yeah. love to talk yeah. about Definitely. themselves. Definitely. <laughs> That's what I always say as well. So most of my audience is like young guys. How do they how do they approach a woman without coming off creepy? Like if they if they were interested, not like just a friendship, like they were attracted to them, what would they say? I feel like yes. in my my opinion, Actual you girls. just start talking like a normal person. Yeah, yeah like you don't come across and you're you like, don't yeah, want, like don't, yeah, yeah, you don't, don't want like yeah, you don't want like to be hit on the, yeah. like in the first right like two bat. seconds. It's like I want a natural conversation. Yeah, yeah. I see. It's like yeah. oh, how are you? I'm yeah, really don't come off you. too strong right away. Yeah. yeah, okay. You don't ever want someone that tries too hard. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> After chilling at home for a little while, I still had a few hours left in the challenge, and I knew that I wanted to make one last attempt to meet more people and potentially get rejected for the first time. I have an errand to run, which is to go to Target right now. I gotta get a few things from there. And while I'm there, I thought, well, I should bring my camera because I still got some people to talk to. When I got to Target, I thought it'd be a good idea to ask an employee for what I was looking for, which was earplugs. But immediately, I could feel that the vibes were different than previous conversations. I have a question. So, you might have seen me like shooting a video. Huh? I'm, I'm shooting a video right now for YouTube. And the premise of it is like meeting new people, talking to more people. I probably will have to pass on that Okay, one. that's all good. Well, 
it happened. You guys happy now? As for how this changed me, even though I already have quite a few high quality relationships in my life, I do feel more confident when it comes to approaching people and making new friends. But I don't think as an introvert, I'd like to take it to that extreme all the time, nor do I think it's good for me to take it to that extreme. I prefer to be quieter and keep my mouth shut most of the time and be alone. And to be honest, by the end of that second day, I was definitely feeling a little drained, like I was talking to too many people. But the feeling of conquering this social anxiety and stepping out of my comfort zone and doing something like that, it really did bring me a lot of energy in that way and made me feel more confident. There were so many great tips and insight on how to approach people and have a good conversation from all of the people in this video, but you might have more questions that you need to be answered from actual professionals on this thing. And the way that you can find professionals on this topic is using the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is my favorite online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can explore new passions or deepen existing ones on there. And they have tons of different classes classes on there from entrepreneurship, marketing, lifestyle, self-help, and yes, even a lot of classes on social skills. A specific class I'm in the middle of learning right now is Animating with Ease in Adobe After Effects by Jake Bartlett, and specifically learning about motion pass and rove keyframes, which I've never used in After Effects before. The whole platform's curated specifically for learning, that means there is no ads, and they're always adding new classes to the platform. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium so you can start exploring your creativity today. Highly suggest that if you're trying to pursue your creative endeavor or just trying to get better at your social skills. Thank you to all the patrons on this channel on Patreon. If you don't know what this is, it's a platform separate from YouTube where I'm putting out exclusive videos and podcasts and you can talk to me one-on-one -on -one there. If you wanna check that out, link is in the description, patreon.com slash Cole Hastings. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped you and I hope that it inspired you because that's really why I wanted to do this to inspire you guys to go out there and go make some new friends and have a great rest of your day or night.